this is going to be our last video of the year guys um so short video and it was just a quick video on the vans the van layout um i've been asked promised we're going to give you a tour of the vans and uh the kit and the setup but at the minute we've got the horrible job of sorting through all this lot which is all my kit that i've accumulated over the last i don't know 15 odd years so we've got to sort through all this crap um get both fans kitted up for the new year and tidy up the lock up we've got some new racking that matt's just putting together now so we'll get all this sorted tidied organized and we'll catch up with you when it's done and then we can run through how we have the van set up so we're coming to the end of this job of tidying all our kit up today we've just been sorting the lock up out um, it's a work in progress so we're not we're not done by any means but we've managed to get a little bit of order um, put some new shelving systems in could probably do with a, a bigger lock up to be honest but for now this this will do us and we've been working on the vans i'll just run you through quickly our van layout um, that we find is best for us we're typically domestic based um, so how we've set the vans up is we've put a false floor in the, this is a short wheelbase for varo that matt drives and i've, I've got the long wheelbase uh, there's a false floor in both vans because this is a short wheelbase van what we've had to do is utilize this space right underneath so we've, between these arches we can fit in we've got about a foot of loading space for eight before sheets which slip in just as as the bulkhead tapers down your eight befores will slip in between the arches touching the base of that bulkhead but again you'll only get maybe eight or ten of them in and then you'll start to hit where it where it starts tapering up outwards you'll start to hit it then and you won't get any more in but typically we only need that that amount and away because we do mainly small domestic jobs so yeah false floor's gone in and then basic um ply board shelf on the right hand side for tools and then he's got a small um trial rack there Vans are still works in progress and we're changing them all the time to be honest. We added that in last year I think or the year before. All these straight edges and, and levels and stuff like that. It is quite tight, a short wheelbase, but it does get everything in that we need. So boards at the bottom and you can put your plaster on top and all your kit sort of lobbed in around the sides. The long wheelbase is a lot better. Yoo-hoo! Yeah, long wheelbase is a lot better because obviously you've got another foot or so of of, uh, of loading space. But similar system really. I've I've just removed a shelf that I had here because it was obstructing uh, these electrics, which we had to get to to do a light repair earlier. But Kurt's just put in um, another trial rack here so we can chuck all the hawks and stuff in there. Uh, we've got the refiner three metre screed bar that we use. Uh, sometimes we use that mostly we're using the, the um, feather edge 2.4 feather edge uh, there's a few old levels and stuff chucked in up the top there this is a bit of a mess at the minute because I'm about to drop some rubbish off so but I'll still sort of show you the, I'll just show you where we keep um, beads and stuff so beads go here in this pocket 2.4 meter beads and then there's a couple more areas right underneath the false floor we've got all the props levels 2.4 um bits of timber and stuff like that spirit levels and all that jazz all goes under here sweeping brushes um and then again trial rack on the left small tools get chucked in here got the speed skims and, and whatnot up there and at the very back, um, there's a bucket shelf. 
that actually um, pitches downwards like that. So when we brake, all the buckets don't go flying about. So that's what that shelf is there at the back. And the reason I've set it out like this is so I can get um, a good deck of um, eight before thermo boards in, because we do a lot of internal wall insulation, stuff like that. So I can get like a full deck of 15, 20 boards in, maybe more if I wanted to, and go right up to that um, timber there. So yeah, I can load up the materials and chuck the kit on top. So that's the idea. And then the side door has been um, it's empty at the minute, but basically side door set up is mixer goes in the top. Um, then we've got all the power tools and whatnot that I stick along here in the lockup at the moment. Um, down here is a little compartment that we use for this um, plastic. It ba that's basically a plastic picnic table which we use as a spot board because um, it's nice and big and light just folds away and we chuck it in there uh, and then pva tubs go here and um, whatever else we we chuck in so i was hoping that we could get it all and um, loaded up and tidied up but we've just run out of time and we're still messing about inside the lockup finishing bits and pieces off so that's about it for this one. Just wanted to do one last little short video for you just before the Christmas break, just to run you through the vans and the lockup. A um, little bit more tidying up to do. And we're gonna wrap up then. And have a nice couple of weeks off with the kids. Hope you do the same. Don't forget to like, subscribe, comment, and all the rest of it. Have a great Christmas and we'll see you in the new year. Cheers guys.